In this video, I wanted to show the all-in-one from the Panasonic Aquarium range. But with more of a focus today on wiring. Um, when, you get the, when you get the front panel off, so when you, there's just two screws at the bottom and then it just lifts off. Because the control is actually wired in, I tend to just put it to the side like so. Well, what we've got here is a hinge type door that's just secured with the two screws. There is actually a wiring, wiring diagram there and also there's a diagnostic display, some really helpful information for the installers. Um, you can see the pipe, you know, the pipe layout on this as well and how to drain the tank. So this here, if you've not seen it before or any of the other videos on a network adapter, is the network adapter. It's through this that it's going to pair with your Wi-Fi to enable you to download the app and control the system with your app. Um, and then also, it's, it's this what's going to enable us, with your consent, to register you on the Panasonic Aquaria Service Cloud, um, so we can remotely monitor the system for performance and future maintenance. So it really is um, good for peace of mind. So whenever you order the only one, you do get it included. But when you order, say, perhaps it, um, one from the other range, say from the, the J, J series range, it, it may be an optional extra. So just, just be mindful if you are, um, you know, sort of ordering. If you want the network adapter and you want that extra peace of mind, you know, make sure you put that on the list. So what I wanted to show, this is the cable from the network adapter. It just plugs in CNCNT there. But a lot of the installers, um, electricians, they'll, they'll ask the question, how do I go about the wiring? Or if we're doing a self-build project, the homeowner's electrician may say, right, can you, because we'll always provide those schematics if you're using our umbrella, for instance. So we'll get a lot of the installers say, have you got the schematics for the Sparkies? Great stuff, no problem. But the simplicity of these, when I, when I highlight that to the electricians, they're often shocked how easy these are to wire. And, you know, I'm not sort of being favouritist here or anything like this. These really, really, really are very straightforward to wire. So, the, you know, the good news for your clients is that, you know, the simplicity of wiring from the consumer unit is very straightforward. You're just going to have two fuses on the consumer unit, which are going to supply two rotary isolation switches, which are going to wire into these two breakers. You've got power supply one, which powers the all-in-one. Power supply two, which powers the backup heater that's built in here. So depending which model you have, you'd either have the three kilowatt backup heater or the six. Um, so, you know, power supply two powers your backup heater. And you can use that in the event of a technical breakdown with a heat pump. Um, in, in many instances, you can use the backup heater. That'll do the heating and the hot water until your technical matters resolved. Um, you know, or you can use the backup heater for your weekly anti-legionella cycle. Fantastic. So, power one powers the all-in-one. Um, power two powers the backup heater, but then we've got our interconnecting four core. So this four core cable connects to the outdoor unit in the garden. In our instance, um, the, the you know K series unit sat to the left of it. Um, but but basically we've got the four core cable, and that's just a H07 RNF. In this instance, it's a four mil four core H07 RNF. Um, you know, and that's connecting, you know, the live, the neutral and the earth for the power and, you know, terminal three being the communications. So that's, that's how these guys communicate between the indoor and the outdoor. So for you as the electrician or the installer, there is little else for you to, you know, be worrying about on the wiring. It, it really is that straightforward. So you know, from the consumer unit, two fuses. So you may use, you know, for example, six mil twin and earth, um, coming to your SCARME rotary isolation switches. Um, 
from the SCAMI rotary isolation switches, you'd then use maybe, you know, dep depending on the size or the distance of, you know, from the, the unit to the consumer unit. Um, you know, it's down to the electrician's discretion, of course, but just as I suggested, it could be four mil, it could be 2.5 mil, twin and earth. Um, you know, so that would wire then into your two um, breakers there. So now we've got power for the unit, now we've got power for the backup heater, and then we've got the interconnecting four core. Great stuff. We've got our network adapter clipped in on the board um, and housed there. So that really is your, the extent of your wiring. All you've got to be mindful to do is, because this door, when those two screws are removed to get to the hydraulics behind, this door will then swing out also. All you've got to be mindful is to leave enough slack so that, you know, slack on the cable so that it doesn't restrict this door from opening. And that really is all you've got to be mindful of with the wiring. Um, so I hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching.